It's time for Five Things Friday. All right, so this is a new thing I'm doing here. Five Things Friday. Every Friday, I will do a video on five things. Could just be five random things. Could be five things I love. Could be five things I hate. I really don't know. I do what I want. So start off today, we're just going to talk about five things from the past week that I like and stuff. So first and foremost, yesterday, September 19th, was International Talk Like a Pirate Day. Our matey. So International Talk Like a Pirate Day started as just kind of a goofy thing among friends in a small area. And back in 2002, Dave Barry wrote an article about International Talk Like a Pirate Day in a newspaper. And it kind of blew up from there. And then you have that combined with the power of the internet and the way things spread and the way people get fanatical about things on the internet and it just went crazy. All right, second thing here is uh, iOS 7. Apple released their newest version of the iOS operating system for uh, their phone and tablet devices. Um, I uh, was extremely happy to uh, upgrade mine. Very, very nice. I like it a lot. Um, I like the 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 cool little parallax, you can't see it, but there's a cool little parallax effect when you tilt it, it makes the background move so it looks like you're looking under the icons and it's really cool. And uh, uh, you know, my friend Kyle loves the parallax effect. He talks about it constantly. He thinks it's so awesome. I'm like, I mean, it's cool, but you know, calm down, calm down. Whatever. Now, in all seriousness, I was very excited for the release of iOS 7. Uh, I've been reading up a lot on it over the last few months and uh, was really happy to finally see it released and, and very happy to be able to upgrade it on the same day it was released. Their servers get overloaded bad on release day and this was a pretty big release. So I was just happy to be able to get it and so far I haven't had any problems. It is a little bit of a battery hog. It uses some additional GPS features in that that kind of choke things up. but. Uh, there's lots of sites on the internet that talk about ways you can change those settings and it makes a big difference and works just fine. Number three, Whole Foods. Beginning of the year, my wife and I decided to make the plunge and cut processed foods, artificial colors, artificial sugars, um, artificial flavorings, anything artificial and uh, out, completely out of our diet. No processed foods, no, no hydrogenated oils. Um, we've seen a, a nice improvement in our health um, and that's been fantastic and um, overall it's been a really good experience so when Whole Foods opened up here in Boise recently we started shopping there and checking it out and it was a little expensive at first so we're slowly learning how to shop on this new diet natural food whole food is a lot more expensive than the traditional box foods that you do you get at a, a regular grocery store so we're slowly figuring out how to purchase and buy groceries without absolutely destroying our budget on the first trip and we're getting better at it but uh, I've come to just really like Whole Foods their bakery is amazing it's also very dangerous uh, you go in there there are tons and tons of just absolutely amazing food pastries and cookies and cakes and pies and I think I've got pie in the other room. I'm gonna go have some pie. I'm back. <laughs> Good pie. All right, next thing, Thai food. I love Thai food. I love Pad Thai. I love spicy noodles. I love a whole bunch of other dishes that I can't pronounce and I'm not even gonna try to pronounce. We've been actually making a lot of it here at home lately uh, with mostly success. We've had a couple dishes that came out, you know, I think, I don't know if it was the recipe or the way I made them. They didn't quite come out right. They still tasted all right, but they could have been a lot better. Um, but uh, overall, uh, yeah, Thai food, awesome. So that's just me ranting about Thai food. So <laughs> yay. All right, at number five, finally, um, is uh, something that I'm very excited about. Pathfinder. I right, you can see that. Pathfinder. Pathfinder is a tabletop role-playing game. Uh, it spawned off of a version of Dungeons and Dragons, and uh, they kind of took some of the best things of that and adjusted it and fixed some things that were broken. and And it's based off the old 3.5 version of Dungeons and Dragons. I am a gigantic nerd, uh, as are my friends. We get together on a fairly regular basis and play. So, lesson number one: when you're recording a video. 
charge your camera. My batteries just died in my HD camera, so sorry for the change in resolution here. Um, but just to finish up, yeah, Pathfinder is a lot of fun. Uh, honestly, it's more fun than anything just to get together with friends and sit down and just talk and play and joke around and tell a story together, throw some dice, and um, it's, it's a lot of fun. Role-playing games in the past have received some kind of negative stigma, um, again, associated with devil worship and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, I don't know what game they were playing or looking at or any of that. There's none of that in Pathfinder or in Dungeons & Dragons, for that matter. Anyway, those are my five things for Five Things Friday, and thank you for joining me, and we'll see you on Monday with another Amnesia Let's Play. And uh, sometime here, I'm going to start uh, getting back into Minecraft again and probably post those alongside the uh, Amnesia videos. But uh, until then, thanks. Have a great weekend.